bearings played a pivotal role in the nascent industrial revolution, allowing the new industrial machinery to operate efficiently. Bearings are one of the simplest yet crucial machine elements. The main purpose of bearings is to prevent direct metal-to-metal -metal contact between two elements that are in relative motion. This prevents friction, heat generation and ultimately, the wear and tear of parts. Nowadays, bearings are one of the most commonly used machine parts because their rolling motion make almost all movements easier, from a small supermarket trolley to huge power plants, from simple bicycle to complex aeroplanes. A great number of light duty, as well as industrial equipment, could not function without the use of bearings in some form. This might not be warned to say that bearings help us revolutionize our industries and our lives so let us first define what is a bearing a bearing is a machine element that constrains relative motion to only the desired motion and reduces friction between the moving parts like these examples given below ball bearing and spherical roller bearing are two types of roller bearings now here comes the question of why we use bearings. There are two basic functions of bearing. To produce relative motion between the shaft. To carry the load of shaft. Like this example given below. Bearing is producing motion as well as carrying the load of shaft. Now move on to the types of bearings. There are generally two main types of bearings. Sliding contact bearing. Rolling contact bearing. Now let's get to the definitions of these types. Sliding contact bearing. In sliding contact bearings, the sliding takes place along the surfaces of contact between the moving element and the fixed element. The sliding contact bearings are also known as journal bearings. Like plain bearings and journal bearing are examples of sliding contact bearings. Sliding contact bearings are journal bearings, plain bearings, fluid bearings, jewel bearings, magnetic bearings, rolling contact bearing, in rolling contact bearings, the contact between the bearing surfaces is rolling instead of sliding as in sliding contact bearings. Due to this low friction offered by rolling contact bearings, these are called anti-frictional bearings. Tapper roller bearing and needle roller bearing are example of rolling contact bearing. Rolling contact bearings are Deep groove ball bearing Angular contact ball bearing. Self-aligning ball bearings. Thrust ball bearing. Cylindrical roller bearings. Spherical roller bearing. Needle roller bearings. Taper roller bearing. Now let us discuss in detail about assembly and properties of these types. Deep Groove Ball Bearings During this bearing assembly, the races are offset and the maximum number of balls are placed between the races. Races are then centered. And balls are symmetrically located by retainer or cage. The Deep Groove Ball Bearings are used due to their high load carrying capacity. These bearings are suitable for high running speeds. These bearings can accommodate radial and light axial loads. These bearings are mostly used in centrifugal pumps, blowers, and fans. Angular Contact Ball Bearings An angular contact ball bearings consist of retaining cage, row of balls, inner and outer race. In these bearings raceways are grounded with a 40-degree contact angle, which allows the bearing to carry relatively large axial loads in one direction as well as large radial loads. These bearings can also be double-row angular contact bearings or single-row angular contact bearings. These bearings are mostly used in gearboxes and screw conveyors. Self-Aligning Ball Bearings Self-aligning ball bearing consist of two rows of balls, secure and separate by a cage, on inner race and sphered outer race. 
These bearings permit shaft deflections within 2 to 3 degrees. This construction allows the bearing to tolerate a small angular misalignment resulting from shaft or improper mounting. Dash one drawback of the self-aligning ball bearings is a limited load rating, as the outer raceway has very low osculation. These bearings are mostly used in textile, agriculture, mining and paper industries. Thrust Ball Bearings Thrust ball bearing has ball enclosed in a cage between the shaft washer that corresponds to the inner ring and housing washer that corresponds to the outer ring. Thrust ball bearings are designed to handle only axial loads exclusively at speeds below 2000 RPM. Thrust ball bearings are not suitable for radial loads. These bearings are separable and the components can be mounted individually, making assembling the bearings simple. These bearings are mostly used in slow-speed gearboxes, vertical shafts, and cement mills. Cylindrical Roller Bearings Cylindrical roller bearing consists of a flanged outer ring, a separating cage and number of rollers, and the floating inner race completes the bearings. These bearings are designed to accommodate high radial loads at high speed. This bearing is always used in conjunction with axially locating bearing. These bearings have high stiffness, long service life and enhanced operational reliability. Cylindrical roller bearings are most used in automotive gearboxes, electric motors, vibration motors and wind turbines. Spherical roller bearings. Spherical roller bearing consists of an inner ring with two raceways, an outer ring with common spherical raceway, spherical rollers, cages, internal guide rings or center rings. These bearings can also be sealed. These bearings can normally tolerate angular misalignment in the order of plus or minus one to one half degree. Due to the curved outer ring, these bearings can carry high axial and radial loads, even in harsh environments. These bearings are eligible to take static as well as dynamic misalignment. Spherical roller bearings are used in high-speed gearboxes, dynamic filters, vibrating screens, and heavy-duty vehicles. Needle Roller Bearings a needle roller bearing is a special type of roller bearing which uses long, thin cylindrical rollers resembling needles. These bearings are relatively slender and fill the space so that neither a cage nor a retainer is needed. Needle bearings have a greater surface area in contact with the races, so they can support a greater load. Needle bearings typically have rollers that are at least four times longer than their diameter. These bearings are used when heavy loads are to be carried with an oscillatory motion. Needle roller bearings are used in gearboxes, chain blocks, meshed gears, universal shafts, and connecting rod. Tapper Roller Bearings A tapper roller bearing consists of two separate parts, an inner ring with set of tapper rollers secured by steel cage, called the cone assembly, and an outer ring called the cup. Cup and cone mounted separately. Cup in the housing and cone on the shaft. Only when they assemble together, they form a complete bearing. This bearing construction accommodates combined loads and provides low friction during operation. Contact angle in tapper roller bearing is between 10 degrees and 30 degrees. Tapered roller bearings are designed to carry both radial and thrust loads. Tapered roller bearings are typically used in gearboxes, hoisting equipment, rolling mills and machines in the mining industry. Journal bearings. Journal bearings are meant to include sleeve, plain, shell, and babbit bearings. The term babbit actually refers to the layers of softer metals, like lead, tin, and copper, which form the metal contact from surface of the bearing shell. In these bearings, shaft rotates in the bearing with a layer of lubricant separating both the parts. Journal bearings are designed to reduce load friction. They are often used when the load is light and the motion is continuous. Dash one advantage of journal bearings is that they can be restored by the process of chrome plating and finish grinding. Plain bearings. Plain bearings operate on the principle of sliding friction and employ no rolling elements. They are generally quieter than anti-friction bearings as they have no moving parts. Plain bearings can be used for rotational or linear applications. Plain bearings are generally used for high load and low speed applications. Plain bearings of all types are compact and lightweight with high strength-to-weight ratio. 
Plane bearings are used in mining and construction equipment, farm and forestry machinery, heavy-duty forklifter and IC engines. Fluid bearings. Fluid bearings are bearings in which the load is supported by a thin layer of rapidly moving pressurized liquid or gas between the bearing surfaces. As there is no contact between the moving parts, there is no sliding friction, allowing fluid bearings to have lower friction, wear and vibration. There are two types of fluid bearings, hydrostatic and hydrodynamic fluid bearings. Fluid bearing is used for high load and high speed applications. Fluid bearings are mostly used in marine propeller shafts, heavy machinery, turbines and generators. Jewel bearing is a plane bearing in which a metal spindle turns in a jewel-lined pivot hole. The hole is typically shaped like a torus and is slightly larger than the shaft diameter. The jewel bearings are typically made from synthetic sapphire and synthetic ruby. Jewel bearings are used in precision instruments where low friction, long life, and dimensional accuracy are important. These bearings are mostly used in galvanometers, electronic circuit, compasses, and mechanical watches. Thanks for watching and support our channel. Hope you like the video. The more subscribers we get, the better and more content I can continue making. So please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.